deal. She's a ditzy girl who causes problems for everyone but never realizes it. That doesn't sound very realistic. <gasps> Did you guys know where the bathroom is? Oh, back there. Is it that way? Doesn't matter. First class ticket, please. I just came looking for the bathroom. My ticket is in my seat. Do you have any idea how many times a day I hear that? Just go back where you came from. Go back where I came from. Okay. <laughs> I see how it is. So Harry just sent those people right into a bear cave. She never knows what she's doing. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Pa, do you think it's weird Nana invited you to her wedding? I think it's the least weird thing Dee Dee's ever done. Well, she was so bad. Why'd you ever marry her? We were young. She was cute, but the constant nuttiness of Dee Dee wore me down, robbed me of my will to live. One day she pushed me off the edge. I ran out of the house. They found me shirtless in the local fire station. Excuse me, this uh, Dee Dee that you're speaking of, uh, is that Dee Dee Pritchett by chance? You know her? She's marrying my father. You're kidding. No, we're traveling to the wedding right now. If there is one, gotta call Dad. I told you that woman was off. I'm gonna need 18 back. Fine. I don't get anything. No, I'm gonna Hey, wait. pal. Before you call your dad, what I was saying about Dee Dee was me just covering up because I lost the greatest, most stable person I've ever known. But you seem so angry. It's because I can't get over her. I've tried everything, therapy, pills, electricity. I'm sorry. It's just that I miss her so much. I I'm going to see the luckiest man in the world marry the most wonderful woman in the world, and I have nobody. Excuse me, sir. This woman says she's your wife. Never seen her before. But here's someone I do know, my son Mitchell. Mitchell and Dee Dee are great pals. Tell these lovely folks about your mother. She's a scheming dragon woman hell-bent on destroying everyone around her. You picked today to realize that! You're welcome. I finally got him to see Mom for who she really is, a nasty old nut job. But she's someone else's problem now, huh? Wait a minute. You know what? I don't know these people either. Excuse me. Pardon, Pardon us. Sir. Got it. I have a signal. Good. Guys, 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 come on. The only signal we need is this. My kids in the back, they don't hate Dee Dee. They're preparing a roast for the wedding. That's how our family shows love. You'll get a taste of it at the reception. What are you, Italian? We'll do a whole thing. Unless you shoot the place up first. See? Oh. That kind of stuff. Hey, Bridget! I am going to strangle you! I don't know why you're pretending that you don't know me, but I'm sure it's for some stupid and selfish reason! She really is your wife? For now. Pretty soon you're gonna be getting on a train to my next wedding. You're driving me insane! Oh, I see what's going on. Don't listen to her. Dee Dee's not crazy. You are. Sure, that works. Who are you? Oh, I'm Carl. Uh, my father's marrying Dee Dee. Yes, he is, and let's celebrate. Drinks on me. What the heck? And again, I'm sorry to have worried you guys about Dee Dee. Oh, please. It's not like Carl's father's such a prize. <laughs> what? He snapped and burned your mom's house down. I was just kidding. Uh, we're doing a roast, too. You're right. Your mother was almost a roast. 